A high-profile government family have threats from outside, so they hired the most skilled bodyguard, undercover as a driver to protect their family. Florida, Miami, Frank Martin is hired as a driver as a favor for Mr. Billings' son Jack, a billionaire and high-profile government employee. Frank is not a pretty standard driver, he knows how to fight and his driving abilities are exceptional. He has some self-imposed rules that he does not violate in any situation, and he's well known as the transporter. Frank is seen in his brand new car, he is about to start the car to pick up Jack from school when a girl asked him to assist her. He tells her that he doesn't have time for help, but then the girl pulls a gun on Frank. He is composed and walks out of the car as instructed by the girls. Some gang appeared and happily gets into the car as if they were going to steal it. They attempted to start the car, but it would not start. Frank informs them that the car requires a code to start. They exits the car and threaten Frank with violence if he does not tell. Frank takes a moment away from them to remove his freshly laundered coat. Soon after, the fight begins, and Frank beats them all. The girl stands there, seeing them beaten, and becomes terrified of Frank. Frank picks up Jack from school and plays a game with him on the way to Mr. Billings' house. It appears that Jack is very happy and has a good bond with Frank. Frank moves his car slightly forward as he notices their parents arguing. Mrs. Billings admires Frank's performance. She discusses her marriage with her husband and appears to be dissatisfied. She also informs him that Jack has an appointment at the hospital the following morning. However, it appears that someone is spying on them and listening in on their conversation. At night, Frank orders his food but is interrupted by Mrs. Billing, who has developed feelings for Frank. Frank tells her that he respects her and will not do anything because he has rules that he follows. Frank sent her home with tact. On the other hand, the person spying on them is a gangster named Gianni Cellini. Gianni has ordered a green virus serum for himself, as well as a purple cure. They want to spread this virus throughout the world, so they are spying on Mr. Billing's family. Gianni dispatched his team to inject this virus into Jack, so that it could affect Mr. Billings, who will be attending a meeting later on with the world's most famous government officers. This virus spreads quickly from one person to another. The following morning, Frank is preparing for the arrival of Inspector Tarconi, his French detective friend who has come to spend his vacation in Florida with Frank. Frank transports Jack to the hospital. Jack is terrified, but Frank assures him that he will keep him safe and that no one can harm him. Gianni's team have already killed the doctor and nurse and taken their costumes. Frank approaches the nurse and inquires about the doctor, but she informs him that the doctor is on leave and that the other doctor can examine him. The doctor tells Frank to wait outside, leaving Jack alone in the hands of the gangster. Frank quickly notices suspicious things in the hospital, such as the nurse's inappropriate heels. Soon after, he notices a small amount of blood dripping from the door. He rushes to the doctor's office, where he sees the man attempting to inject the virus into Jack. He stops him and pass through the trolley. He tells Jack to go hide somewhere, and Jack enters a vent. Frank beats both men and flees the room, but when Lola notices him she pulls out her guns and fires on him non-stop. Frank saves himself and Jack and returns to the doctor's room. They run to the parking lot to get away. Lola instructs his man to plant a bomb beneath Frank's Audi. Frank escapes in the car while Lola attempts to shoot him, but the car turns out to be bulletproof. She informs Gianni that their plan has failed, but they must carry out the second plan. Frank arrives at Mr. Billings' house, where a surprise party for Jack has been planned. Frank enters the gate, but his phone soon rings. Gianni tells him over the phone that Jack is within range of a sniper and that his bulletproof glass is useless against the gun. Frank is now upset because he knows Jack is in danger, so he allows Lola to enter the Audi. Mrs. Billings is also concerned about Jack's safety. Gianni instructs him to follow Lola's instructions. While the police pursues him, Frank speeds away in his Audi. He manages to hit all of the police cars and some of them crashes. After some time, he arrives at Gianni's warehouse. He meets Gianni there, who tells him to leave without Jack. Frank has no other choice but to return to his Audi while inspecting the bomb beneath it. Frank knows what to do. He accelerates his Audi and tilts it to remove the bomb, which explodes the next second. Frank barely survived. Gianni demanded a sum of $100 million from Mr. Billings in return of Jack. Mr. Billing believes that Frank is also involved, but his wife still believed Frank because he promised her that he would look after Jack in any case. When Frank called Mr. Billing's phone, he discovered that the police were also looking for him. He left his phone at the scene to deal with the cops. He calls Tarconi, who is staying at his house. Tarconi is quickly apprehended by police, but they notice Tarconi is also in the police. Frank goes to the hospital to find the totally fake doctor, Dimitri. He discovers the serum in the doctor's office, but then a man appears and pulls a gun on him. Frank beats the man, but unfortunately, he shoots the serum. Frank has a plan, he creates a fake serum and escapes the hospital safely. 
Frank contacts his friend Tarconi for assistance, who tackles the police station and manages to gain access to the computer. Frank sends him a photo of the fake doctor, whom Tarconi claims is a Russian biologist. Tarconi assists Frank in tracking down the fake doctor, Dimitri. He enters his house, but Dimitri is terrified when he sees Frank. Dimitri pulls out his gun and begins shooting at him. Frank is unfazed and continues to pursue him. Dimitri flees the fire exit and quickly runs out of bullets. Dimitri boards a bus, but Frank spots a jet ski and jumps on it. He chased Dimitri, but after a jump, he managed to land the jet ski on the road. He takes down Dimitri on the bus and injects him with a virus. Dimitri runs away in search of help because he knows he will die if he does not receive the antidote in time. Frank secretly follows him behind. Dimitri rushes to a lab to obtain the cure, with Frank close behind. Dimitri kills Taipov, another of Gianni's men, in an attempt to force the scientist in charge of the lab to give him the cure in his panic. When Frank arrives, he kills another henchman before killing Dimitri, after revealing that Dimitri was not infected after all. However, when Frank refuses to bargain, the scientist tells him that anyone Jack breathes on will get affected by the virus and throws the only two vials containing the antidote out of the window. Frank leaps out the window and kept flying like a superhero to rescue them. He bumps into a taxi and gets onto the ground. Somehow he drops the two vials from his hands and tries hard to get them by dodging the traffic on the road. He gets one of the antidotes but it breaks. He sees the second one and leaps to get it, barely escaping from under the truck's tire. Mr. Billings gives Gianni the money, but they are both upset because they have not received their son. Soon after, the police officer informs them that their son has been found. They goes to him, but because they are afraid, they used an automatic robot to open the door, which took too long. Jack's mother was fed up with waiting and dashed towards the van while everyone else stood back. With tears in her eyes, she opens the door and greets Jack. Nola and Gianni are happy to see that they have injected the virus in Jack, which is also unknown to them. When they notice Jack has a fever, the doctor gives him medicine to help him sleep. Mr. Billings tells his wife that he will be right back after the conference and leaves. Frank calls Jack's mother and asks her to come to the bedroom. She soon sees Frank there. Frank tells her to keep quiet and tells her that Jack is infected by a virus and anyone who comes close to him will die. She is upset because Jack is going to die, but Frank shows her the vial that can save Jack. They give Jack the antidote while Frank tells her that their actual target is Mr. Billing and that he will find Gianni. While getting out, Frank gets into a fight, beats the man, and handcuffs them together. Mrs. Billing tells her husband about the virus but he can't hear her and tells her that he will call her back. The conference room will now be affected because the virus appears to have affected Mr. Billing. Frank contacts his friend Tacconi and requests her assistance in locating Gianni. Tarconi goes to the computer and manages to provide Frank with the address. When Frank notices that his car is being followed by cops, he borrows a taxi driver's car and drives to Gianni's house. Gianni injects the remaining antidote into his own body and tells Lola that carrying the antidote in himself is safer than anything else. Suddenly Frank breaks into the house and Gianni is taken aback. Gianni orders his bodyguards to stop him. They started firing him with big guns but Frank somehow managed to get into the building. When Frank sees more of Gianni's men, he fights them magnificently and defeats them all one by one. Someone pulled a gun on him but he kicks the gun away and fights them. Frank possesses exceptional fighting abilities. He beats all of the men to get to Gianni. He draws his gun on Gianni, but he tells him that if he dies, the antidote will be thrown away. Frank now can't risk killing him. Lola soon appears and pulls the gun on Frank. Gianni tells Lola to kill Frank and tells Frank that he has a flight to catch. Soon after the fight begins, Lola begins firing continuously and tries to kill him, but Frank can't die easily, he kicks Lola, and she becomes stuck on a wine rack, taking her last breaths. Frank notices Gianni escaping in the chopper. He sees a Lamborghini in the garage and drives it quickly to try to catch up to the chopper, but he is suddenly noticed by a live news channel. He appears to be driving very quickly, and everyone is taken aback by his driving abilities. Frank arrives at an airport where Gianni's private jet is waiting to take off. As Frank drives the car onto the runway, he manages to drive and climb the jet tire, allowing him to board the plane. The pilot soon notices a problem with the landing gear, which the co-pilot tries to check but gets killed by Frank. When Gianni sees Frank inside, he takes a step back. Gianni pulls his gun on Frank and tells him to sit down because the fight is about to start. Gianni tries to kill Frank, but suddenly the bullet hits the only pilot left. The plane is crashing and the two are fighting. Frank beats Gianni but the jet crashes into the sea. Gianni tries to kill Frank again, but Frank beats him. Gianni notices that they are both sinking, and Frank decides to save Gianni due to the antidote. 
He saves him by giving him the life jacket and swims him to the top from the emergency eggs of the jet. Police boats and choppers appear to capture Gianni. Finally, Frank goes to the hospital with flowers in his hand, but when he sees Billings' family happy, he decides to leave quietly. Tarcomany is waiting for him outside in the car. When Frank's phone rings at the airport, a man tells him he needs a transporter. Frank says he is listening and the movie ends.